All right, guys, so we're going to be making some tasty, tasty sweet potato pie today, y'all, okay? You want to start off with your potatoes. You're going to put them on some parchment paper, and then you're going to throw those bad boys in the oven for about an hour. Now, it depends on the size. After they come out, you want to skin the bad boys, and then you want to put them inside a bowl. And then we are getting ready to get started with mixing this stuff together. Always remember, I will put all the ingredients in the description box, but this is everything you're going to need. Minus one thing on the left, but you'll see that later in the video. I had just was scooping and pushing, but you'll see that. All right, guys, so let's get into making this. Remember, the ingredients are in the description box. That way you can follow along and not have to figure out what I'm putting inside. Now, the key to a nice creamy pie is not only what you put in it, but it's also the method of getting the strings out of the actual potatoes. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm basically blending, blending, or well, mixing them. And you will see how as I continue to mix, there are going to be strings all throughout the actual mixer. So this is the way you get them out. So don't start going and adding all your stuff in. Get these strings out first. Those mixer um, things tend to just grab them and this is the best way. And you rinse it out. You wanna do that about two or three times or as many times as you need to do it to get the strings out of your potatoes because we do not want no stringy pie. That is a sin, that is a sin. So we're adding the brown sugar and the actual cinnamon and then we're going to put some vanilla and then it's time for the melted butter and next we have some after we kind of we're going to mix it just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit okay and then it's time to put our lemon extract and then after the lemon extract you want to put some allspice let's get that allspice in there just a little bit and some nutmeg and then after those, we are going to, guess what, mix again. Let's mix, 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 but we're gonna use the actual mixer to get this mixed up. Now this right here, this right here, I'm telling you, once you try it, you gotta let your girl know. You have to let your girl know because it is an amazing pie, okay? It is amazing. And the next step is to add my secret sauce <laughs> so I'm gonna be putting a can of condensed milk inside of here so that's what you see me doing showing off my little handy uh, blender I love that little thing not blender Ugh, can opener so we're gonna put the whole can in there and after we put that in there y'all already know it is time to mix 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 so we're gonna mix 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 and always make sure you scrape in the bowl so we incorporate everything and nothing is getting lost on the side Okay, another secret, some almond extract. This just takes your pie to the next level and gives it a flavor that you're like, whoa, what is that flavor, girl? Girl, it's almond extract, okay? So we mix in and now it is time to add our sour cream. Now, the reason I do it like this because the importance of pies is to make sure it tastes like what it needs to taste like. And I'm not trying to be tasting stuff with eggs in it. So I always incorporate my eggs last. So it's the sour cream and then the next thing will be you already know the egg so after I put the sour cream in it is time to mix again and scrape the size of those bowls okay y'all scrape the size of those bowls and I'm tasting it <laughs> listen I should have just kept eating I could have just ate it like right out the bowl like a sweet potato put in something I don't know it's just good and so now I'm incorporating all my eggs because I've already tasted and the eggs doesn't make the taste change so I would suggest you do the same thing and you just keep tasting if you feel like you need a little bit more extract nutmeg vanilla you can do that if you don't put the eggs in it some people taste it with the eggs old schools do but I just can't with all this salmonella crap going around so yeah now it is time to do what guys mix 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 okay but guess what <laughs> we are to the point where it is time to get these bad boys in the oven so let's continue on <laughs> okay, I had to came, come back. I had to came. I had to come back because this was not a part of this recipe. This was for something else, and it was on the counter. I'm actually cooking something over here, and I just scooped it on inside the camera. That is not for this recipe. I don't put flour in mine, so yeah. <laughs> I apologize, guys. So it is time to. I'm gonna whip this one more time, and it is time to put it in the pants so back to voiceover 
it may seem like a lot but this makes the difference with the pie i don't know i like my top of my pies to look like kind of, i don't know that old school look that ripple look i don't know it's just me sometimes if i uh I don't know it just depends if I feel like being perfect and it's for like me to take somewhere I'll smooth out the top but I love that ripple look it just makes it look homemade and old school and not like you know I don't know it's just me that's me that's me preferences is a choice you know you know all right guys so since these are in the crust now it is time to preheat the oven and we're gonna do 350 and I'm gonna put them in for one hour and 20 minutes check your pies check your pies they're going to rise and after they rise they are going to start to get golden unfortunately for me <laughs> we had an episode but you shall see continue watching all right y'all so let me tell y'all what just happened so your girl is cooking, the alarm goes off, I am doing multiple things, talking to someone on Facebook Marketplace, I sold my chairs yesterday in my dining room, and I'm trying to edit the first half of this video, I'm just doing too much, so I cut the timer off and forgot to take the pies out, and then I realized, duh, you gotta take the pies out, so yeah, my pies got a little dark, a little too dark. I'm not saying, you know, the black and the berry sweet the juice ain't the truth, but not when it comes to pies, y'all y'all i try not to cut such a big piece but you know i'll be having to stop myself because it's just that good oh, it's just that good all right so this had to be unvoice over because <laughs> i don't know what i want to say but i wanted you guys to see this pie up close and how tasty it looks even though it's a little scorched to me i love whipped cream on my pie Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. mm. So tasty. Mm. Gotta try it. Got to try it and tell your girl how it came out. All right, y'all. Lady Gators. <laughs>